My name is Iris Scott and I'm a finger painting artist working in oils. I work in Brooklyn, New York and this is a kind of special time in my career right now because I've just started a new style and I'm about to have my first New York solo show. So for the past six years, I've really just been trying to teach myself how to paint. I haven't really worried that much about infusing these paintings with symbolism or anything all that heavy in content. Because in the scheme of my career, I really think of this period as like the baby period. You know, the first five years of it. So if you assume that I'll be painting until I'm 80 or 90, maybe 100, then what's the hurry? The truth is, is now I'm ready to start something quite new. I'm Gabrielle Ruda and I am the owner and director of Philosophy Arts, a nearly brandy new gallery in the Lower East Side. I know that Iris Scott is going to paint until her last breath, you know, until her fingers don't work anymore, and that her work will be in museums around the world. I fully believe that, and it's a, an exciting time to be embarking on the journey. So the first thing I tried about four months ago is I turned my computer off to plan an artwork without the, the screen because I had grown quite addicted to the screen and I think we all have. I started printing out my old paintings, so the last five years of paintings, I, and I took out the scissors and I took out the glue, which is collaging, which I haven't done since I was in high school and I just started cutting up all of my old work. And I didn't really know if it was gonna be any good. I just, I just had this sort of gut feeling, it's time to start chopping things up. And so these new pieces, which are going to be in the show, are literally the past chopped up and reimagined into a future. This really remarkable thing has occurred since Iris and I have started this journey towards her first solo show in New York, and that has been my close reading of her social media pages. I am constantly overwhelmed and touched by the outpouring of affection that people from all over the world shower her with. Her work touches people in this deeply meaningful way, this therapeutic healing way. The feeling that I would like to evoke in others as they view these works, stand in front of them and let them just wash over them, is a somewhat mystical and metaphorical state. A slightly psychedelic level of consciousness. A sense of multiple time periods stuck in one moment, right? So the name of the show is The Doors Ajar, Mind the Cat. It opens March 1st at Philo Sophie Arts Gallery in the Lower East Side, 254 Broom Street. I would love to see you there. <laughs>